blockchain to me is a lot like a city. So how can we make your experiences feel like you're walking through a city? Hey folks, Flo here with Blockchain North. I'm here with Seb Odette of Zapper, which is the main or the title sponsor of this Web3 North event, the very first in Ottawa, and that's important. So you're a sponsor of the conference. Why was it important for you to be a sponsor of this conference? There are like, many different reasons. Uh, I think that number one is it just allows, it, allows us to like, peek through a, a different type of window yeah. in, in the sense of like our goal is to make blockchain readable for everyone and everyone kind of implies everyone, not just the, the natives that we speak to on crypto Twitter or Telegram and are in, are in our community. So it's kind of like just foot on the ground, more traditional and trying to get a more aligned sense and also help educate. So see how far we are from adoption, what are the challenges in trying to explain these concepts um, and how can we figure out ways to bridge them in a more simpler manner. So it's as much as us learning from people as educational. Um, Any particular importance because it's in Ottawa, the nation's capital? Uh, maybe, well, it's close to Montreal and we're from Montreal. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I guess. Um, that's a, actually a pretty good question. I, I think um, there's definitely an area in particular where it's about bringing, you know, going to the center of, you know, this country, Ottawa, and kind of, this is kind of like this statement and bringing more the where we're from as part of the discussion. Whereas if it was in another city, I, I don't feel as though it would be an important part of the narrative. So I think it is important to tie that narrative in. And I think Ottawa is the perfect place for that. Yeah, I would totally agree with that. And of course, Ottawa is not just the seat of government. It's also a tech capital, uh, as exemplified by several uh, major tech success stories over the last 30 years or so. So Zapper's mission is very much about accessibility and readability. Could you tell us a bit more and tell us how you think you fit in the Canadian and the global blockchain space right now? Yeah, so a big part of, and to make like our, our goal kind of simple, in very beginning of personal computing and computers, right, a lot of, a lot of the, um, major kind of you know Microsoft and Apple innovated in the way they presented or surfaced that technology to you know people from you know every day every walks of life and taking one example that I like is like the your trash bin on your desktop screen right there's you're not literally throwing files uh, in the garbage there's no not that that concept doesn't exist in the code or the software um, and so they use things that we know and relate to in real life to explain complex technology, right? Today, blockchain is still pretty complicated. And so in a similar way, we're trying to make it so that people understand what they're doing. They understand the, the inner workings, their foundation at a, at a layer where it's useful. Right. The interface, basically. Exa exactly, like if you think about a blockchain, what it is, um, and you make it more readable, it's about surfacing those things obvious and leveraging concepts from you know, say for example, like a blockchain to me is a lot like a city. So how can we make your experiences feel like you're walking through a city? Um, and so these are things we're thinking about, but like more broadly, this is how we're kind of tackling making the blockchain more readable. Is how can you understand and relate to this complex technology without being exposed to complex technology. And, and it really does sound like that's probably one of the greatest barriers to uh, bigger or, sorry, faster adoption, that it be more usable. One of the sort of mega trends, you could probably call it, that a lot of investors, especially in the space, are looking at right now, globally, is the approval of a potential ETF. Um, I'm wondering how, as a business leader who has to make, you know, decisions, uh, sometimes, you know, strategically, sometimes more tactically, how you look at that process. Is this something you watch? Is it important? Uh, and what difference will it make the day we have one or multiple crypto ETFs approved? Yeah, I think it, I view it from two different angles. One is Zapper itself and the problem we're trying to solve. And to me, it's not that important in terms of how we're thinking about structuring our business and building it. Uh, we're in the fully on-chain world, but the area where I think is very positive is that now you know you'll get this 
um, people will see crypto again in the limelight and they'll get exposed to it. And so this is a new way to speak to people and give it a get, like to me it is like a big stamp of approval um, in terms of legitimacy. And for me, that's a great way in getting people, uh, getting a, that foot in the door and starting using um, that technology. So in itself, um, for Zapper, it doesn't change our business, but it does change the landscape of the market like as a, as a, as a whole and the people that are, are joining it. So you're a Canadian company from Montreal, uh, where I live as well. Um, where is Canada in the blockchain sort of narrative, in the blockchain you know, ecosystem, which is of course borderless, but are we competitive? What is our role? What is our brand? I think uh, Canada is, is, is so interesting because it has among like the leading innovators in the space, like Vitalik is from, from Canada, uh, studied at Waterloo, and you have new, numerous examples, but it's like if it's the uh, quiet and silent kid, but that's like a prodigy that's just it's we, we don't tend to be exuberant and show ourselves off but I think there is a ton of talent here that we need we need to uh, talk more and surface more and I think more so on like the institutional side and, and uh, government side is like to understand that we have all this talent and see it as an opportunity um, to get people in get invested in the industry and make Canada this hub of you know technology so we're building Canada's first blockchain media. Why is that important that Canada have its own media platform focused on blockchain technology? I think it, it's a, I think it's a, a voice that is, is needed. It's a, it's a new voice where there's, there's people, there, and this is an example that I, I was so surprised, not necessarily surprised, but like pleasant, pleasantly um, happy about is there was this event in uh, Longueuil where a bunch of people gathered around a Quebecois personality that's educating people on cryptocurrency and the diversity and range of people was crazy it wasn't like the typical crowd I was used to and basically what I learned there is that it's this voice that people can relate to to understand this new technology that didn't exist yet it's not like you had this youtuber that's a dev from another country now you have this familiar person that you can go on a journey with and it's something that escaped my understanding and something that I think is important and you know uh, I wish you the best of success on your endeavor but I think it's something that's important just to have this new voice to gather people and have people relate to in terms of going on this great journey thank you Seb I wish you good luck with thank Zapper as well much. and I would say see you in Montreal awesome.